Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to get a Windows 8 Classic Start menu that resembles something you would see in Windows 7, or even in some Windows 10 builds as of late, you get a more traditional Star menu. So we're going to jump into it and we're going to start by opening up a web browser. Doesn't really matter which one, I'm going to open up Google Chrome for this tutorial. But again, doesn't really matter as long as that you have an internet connection will be able to go for it. So once we have Google Chrome open, I'm going to just type in Classic Shell and hit enter. When the best match, it should come back for ClassicShell.net. I'm going to select this website here should be a free star menu replacement so you just want to select download now on the left side again it should be free you might have the ability to donate to them but you shouldn't have to actually pay for this star menu utility so once it's done downloading you just want to left click on it one time to open the file up you get a file notice just left click on run going to say welcome to Classic Shell Setup Wizard. Setup Wizard will install Classic Shell on your computer. Click next to continue or cancel to exit the Setup Wizard. Left click on next. After you're done looking through the end user license agreement you want to accept the terms and then left click on next. Select next again and then install. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. And once that's done, just left click on finish. And if you want to view the readme file, you can, but I'm not going to select that. I'm just going to left click on finish there. So now, if you open up the start menu, you will notice you have options to set it up for the first time. If you want to set it up classic Windows 7 style, that's the far right option here. You can also set up the two column version. So you have quite a few different options you can play around with here. I'm just going to select the Windows 7 style. And then again, you guys can play around with it. I'll show you guys how to get into these settings if you want to maneuver around. But I'm just going to left click on OK, save the change. And now when I open up the star menu, you can see we have what resembles our old fashioned star menu. So pretty cool, and if you wanted to edit anything in the future, just right click on the start button, and then you just would left click on settings, and now you get back into that menu I showed you guys earlier, and you'd be able to actually add options as well. So if you wanted to customize the start menu, you wanted to add buttons, so display as a link, display as a menu item, so you have different options you can play around with. You can even change the transparency of it as well. So it's definitely interesting, and I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.